Hello and welcome to jkkmobile.com Modular Milestone, already a great super phone but uh, just yesterday we actually got root access for that so what does it mean and how to do it let's let's check it out I will guide you through the process and then talk a bit about uh, why do it or why not do it so let's go okay so let's do it first thing you have to download the milestone root.zip I will link to the site where you can get it on my blog so you download that and then you have to remain it to update.zip that's it then plug the USB cord of your of your milestone to to your computer I have it here so just click on it on my computer and drag the update dots zip there so here we go 30 megabyte file it's now there all good and then just close all and uh, remove the USB cord that's it then let's go to the phone itself on the phone the next thing you want to do is just turn it off power off okay so still really easy easy process now while your phone is off you have to hold the camera button like this keep it hold and then press the power button so I'm, I'm now pressing the cam and then the power button and when I see the Motorola thing I can release the power button just but still keep holding the camera button okay now we have this kind of sign that's cool then we have to press the volume up rocker and the camera button and now we get to the console where we can do updates or or wipe the device and so on so now let's open the slider use the d-pad here to navigate to the apply sd card update.zip so we choose that not hard thing and then just press the OK button on the D-pad. Let's do it. Now, OK. So it's updating. Install from SD card complete. That's it. So now it's rooted. And now you can choose the Oh, can you see it? the first thing which is just reboot system now so let's press the OK again so now we are rebooting back to the back to the operating system actually I think it's just yeah it's rebooting now fine so let's wait that so this is nothing complicated and, and uh, not hard thing and uh, what the routing uh, the update.zip does it actually just gives you the root access there uh, nothing more nothing less so you you really don't uh, get any stupid stuff on your phone it just gives you the the super user user privilege uh, enabled there but it's not enabled without question so you don't have to be afraid of something happening uh, without you noticing it uh, it will ask the super user uh, privileges if uh, some software needs that so this is pretty simple thing of course if you if you don't need any, any anything like that then this is just waste of time but I will explain that pretty a bit more so now we're there and the first thing you will notice is actually you will have the super user whitelist there on the on the on the software menu so here we go that's it so that's that's where you have a 
all your stuff that uh, that needs super user privileges. I have two softwares there already. I've, I've done this already, so so that's why they're there. So how does it work? I'll show you why why you might need it. So the first thing for me is that uh, I can't uh, on a, on a Android market, I can't actually buy anything. I can't access anything that that's uh, that's any any paid apps. Any anything everything I see there is free. And that's because I'm in Finland. Google doesn't have a some <laughs> in some weird way Google doesn't have a way uh, to show show the paid apps in Finland and in many other countries. In Germany, in the US it works. But if you are in a country country where you can't access that, you you might want to root your milestone. So as you can see, everything is free on my my Android market. But now I have installed a software called Market Enabler, which is here. I launch that, and now because uh, my milestone is rooted. I can actually choose whatever operator I want uh, to to make the phone think I'm in in using another operator and in another country. So let's choose T-Mobile US and fake this provider now. So now the phone thinks that I'm actually in T-Mobile US network and. Uh, now when I go, let's first kill the market just in case. Now when I call, go to the marketplace, it will think I'm I'm in US and on T-Mobile. So now I'm killing the market. And uh, now let's go back to the market and and we should see some paid apps. So we, the market will look a bit different now. Yep, there's some ads there already and you can already see there is apps that are not free. So now I can buy stuff. Well, actually I can't buy before I anonymate my credit card to Google Checkout, which you should do on your main computer. So what I did, I went to Google Checkout and uh, enable, enabled my credit card there. And after that, immediately if, I, if I'm going, going to uh, to the market, it actually knows that I have a checkout feature and, and I can buy stuff. So now I can easily buy any apps I want. So that was really nice thing for me. Of course, there are other stuff you could do with that. Like uh, I'm using the uh, drop, uh, uh, draw cap two software, which needs uh, also the, the 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 root access so this is a screenshot utility so i can show you it takes screenshots from the system when i shake the device so now it took screenshot of the of the uh, desktop so looks like that so that's a cool cool software to have but that's not the only thing also you can uh, use uh, cool softwares that like, uh, let's see, the overclocking widget. So you can do overclocking and underclocking if you want. Overclock widget. So it's, it's now showing the, the CPU speed on my device and I can, I can uh, play with the settings and so on. I don't really use that, that but uh, routing enables that too. Of course, the main thing for many is that with routing we have possibility to actually modify the bootloader so we can uh, we can install new updates and operating systems uh, that someone else has made so right now we don't have it but in, in near future we will have the new bootloader so then we can actually actually also install custom made made roms operating system so if someone uh, make something really cool for Android, uh, for, for Droid and, and we want to use that, we can then install it. So everything, everything like that is needed, needed 
when you root the device. So routing is cool, but if you don't have the need to fake your market access, if you don't have the need to uh, uh, install some, some, uh, some uh, uh, let's say, going further things like software that, that needs the root access, the routing is totally waste of time for you. But if you need, need uh, that kind of stuff, then it's easy, easy, easy to do. So for me, main thing was the market access and uh, and also the screen soft software, uh, also also the future update. So now I have to actually reboot my my device to get the faked uh, faked uh, operator thing away. So right now I want it back to my Finnish operator because I don't need to have the faked thing all all around here. But Routing, that was routing. Hopefully explained to you why root, why not. If anything, just uh, ask more in the comments. Remember, the link to milestoneroot.zip will be on my site, so jump to my site to check it out. It was uh, all done by androidhilf.de guys, so German guys did it, and we are just eating their, their goodies, so thanks. Big thanks to those guys doing this. Okay, this was all for now. Next time something else. Thank you, bye.